Today, we're stepping back in time, embarking on a thrilling exploration of two groundbreaking theories. Darwin's theory of evolution and Lamarck's theory of evolution. So sit back, relax, and join us on this journey through the annals of scientific history. In one corner, we have Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a French biologist who lived in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Lamarck proposed a theory of evolution based on two main ideas. The first was the principle of use and disuse, where an organism can change during its lifetime in response to its environment, and the second was the inheritance of acquired characteristics, where these changes are then passed on to its offspring. In simple terms, imagine a giraffe stretching its neck to reach high leaves. According to Lamarck, the giraffe's neck would gradually lengthen in its lifetime, and this longer neck would then be passed down to its offspring. But then, in the other corner, entering the ring a few decades later, was Charles Darwin. Darwin proposed a different mechanism for evolution, natural selection. According to Darwin, organisms with traits that better suit their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. Over time, these advantageous traits become more common in the population. In our giraffe example, rather than stretching their necks, giraffes with naturally longer necks would have a survival advantage and be more likely to pass on their genes. Two theories, two different explanations for the diversity of life on Earth. But who was right? Well, this is where our plot thickens, and a pivotal incident comes into play. In the 20th century, with advancements in genetics, scientists discovered that traits are passed on through genes, not acquired through use or disuse. This was a significant blow to Lamarck's theory. The giraffe didn't stretch its neck. Instead, the genes determining neck length were passed down generations, aligning more with Darwin's theory. However, the story doesn't end there. In recent years, there's been a surprising twist to this tale. Some studies suggest that environmental factors can indeed affect the way our genes work, a field known as epigenetics. While this isn't exactly Lamarck's theory making a comeback, it does hint at a more complex picture of evolution than what was initially thought. And there you have it. The clash of Darwin's theory of evolution versus Lamarck's theory of evolution is a fascinating glimpse into the history of scientific thought. It's a testament to our pursuit of understanding the complex tapestry of life and a reminder that science is a continually evolving narrative. If you've enjoyed this exploration and want to uncover more scientific mysteries with us, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your fellow science enthusiasts. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more riveting content on the awe-inspiring world of science. Until our next adventure, stay curious, keep learning, and keep evolving.